Hi! Welcome to the premiere of In the Know, a business news program covering tech companies founded by women. Each Friday, we will bring you an update on what these companies are up to. So what's going on? Who's doing what? Let's find out. So the media realm was pretty busy this week. HitFix, the LA-based online media site that offers breaking news and insider analysis on trends in entertainment, announced that it had secured $2 million in funding exclusively from angel investors, including Golden Seeds and Tech Coast Angels. They plan to use the funds to continue growing in the areas of original video, mobile, social media, and personalization features, as well as extended leadership role in providing entertainment news. New York City also was pretty busy as well. BiblioCrunch, a publishing platform where authors and writers can read, write, sell, and distribute their books into any format and any e-reader, just signed on to new publishers, including OR Books, and are working to sign on more. Pretty Young Professionals, another online media site that offers smart content for smart Generation Y women, recently moved out of beta and changed its name to Level League. They relaunched their site on Wednesday. Their goal is to expand their brand by giving readers actionable career options, live communities, to participate in and more. So if interested, take a look. Finally, here in Chicago, our own serial entrepreneur, Wendy Purcell, will be releasing her first book, Mommy Blogging for Dummies, this week via Amazon. So if you're interested in the blogging world and how to do it, check out her book. The marketing world is pretty busy too. We learned from our friends at The Guardian that Skimlinks, a London-based company, a tool that creates affiliate links in web content just bought New York City-based Atma Links, an in-text link platform for an undisclosed amount. Atma Links will be integrated into Skim Links to create a more accurate and specialist price comparison and product identification service. The publishers will easily be able to add to a page on their site via one line of code. Another marketing company busy is commuter, commuter advertising. This Dayton, Ohio company is the first transit system audio advertising company. The Boston Globe reports that they are in early stages of talks with the Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority. If they were to land this, this would be their third major contract with such an organization. They already work with a company out of Dayton as well as one here in Chicago. They also recently opened an office here in Chicago after signing that contract with the Pace Suburban Bus Service. The real estate realm had some major news this week. A New York-based company, Nestio, which is a site that helps apartment hunters organize their information in one place, just announced it secured $750,000 in seed funds via Quotidian Ventures and a number of angel investors, including Joanne Wilson. They plan to use the funding to expand their development team, add additional features, and enter new markets. Oh my gosh, Nestio. Hey, check out Chicago. We've got a lot of renters here looking for help. Finally, the social enterprise realm was bursting at the seams as well. Three companies here in Chicago, Give Forward, Communiteach, and Zealous Good, were very busy. Give Forward is a for profit philanthropy company that helps users raise funding for various causes, including unexpected health care expenses. They recently hit a major milestone. To date, they have now helped raise a total of $5 million via their site. Awesome! We are so excited for Give Forward. It's an amazing feat to be able to raise that much money. Wow! Community Teach, a 2,300-member strong Chicago social platform that brings neighbors together to meet and learn from one another, just hosted its second annual Learner Palooza on June 25th. Over 500 people participated in 90-plus 
free, community-led workshops that included everything from ganache making to photography to improv comedy. Yay! Way to go, community! Finally, Zell is Good, a Chicago company whose platform connects nonprofits and those looking to donate, successfully concluded its nonprofit pilot program June 30th and then turned around and opened it up to additional nonprofits the next day. To date, they have partnered with nine nonprofit organizations and are looking to add more. So if you're interested, check out their site. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to, to sharing with you other news going on around the space. And if you have anything you want to share with us, let us know. Email us, follow us on Twitter, or maybe like us on Facebook. Our Facebook page is www.facebook.com backslash sassyceo, and our Twitter handle is sassyceo with an S at the end. Thanks! Till next time!